boy do we have a fun project here so we got the excavator and the grading bucket you know what it means when i bring out the grading bucket and it's been a while we got grass growing in the grading bucket so this is going to be possibly a first for this type of project i'm actually fixing a beaver dam hard to believe normally i'm taking beaver dams out but this was an old beaver pond uh, a few years ago we had a hurricane a tree fell across the beaver dam and blew it out and it took the beavers a long time to uh, start fixing it back well in the meantime all this grew up and become a overgrown mess in the backyard of this uh, customer's house right here so what i'm going to do uh, the rest of this week is come in here and dig all this out scrape just pretty much scraping the grass and weeds off and uh it's kind of weird the beaver dam is actually on the neighbor's property neighbor is cool on fixing the beaver dam the beavers have been trying to patch it back but she has kept it busted out so that uh it won't fill back up so we can keep this work done so the beaver should once all this is done keep the dam repaired back um like i said the beaver dam is all on the neighbor's property and i don't think the neighbor wants a pond dam going across through here because it's a it's about 150 feet across there so property line is right here goes diagonal through the swamp beaver dam is right here so when all this is flooded it floods about four or five acres here about three to four feet deep and it really makes a nice pond in the backyard of this house as you can see right now it's a muddy muddy overgrown mess so plan is to come in here from that line over scrape all this out add it to the bank get all this back clean to uh pretty much that water level right there and then come down here i got some mats at the house build me a road get in here neighbor was fine fixing that part of the pond dam back which is just going to be a few scoops of uh mud and everything packed into that hole right there pond should fill back up and the beaver should maintain that right there so it it might be a first of ever doing that for a uh a pond but uh it worked for a long time and it should work again so time to put the grading bucket on and get started Thank you. 
try to get all these uh, little saplings and trees out because uh, when the pond fills back up it's going to make it a, a god awful looking mess. So, so far the ground looks pretty good. I brought the old machine over here just for the fact that uh, I was putting it in the swamp. The other machine is busy. But uh, if I am going to get one all muddy and filthy and possibly stuck, uh, I'd rather it be the old one. So I think what I want to do is venture off to the head section up here where I've got to start at and then just kind of work that material over to the bank. There were some trees right here that have already been cleared. Uh, any of this extra dirt and stuff I have, I can pile it up right here. Tree stump. That's what's rough on the old road carriage. So, a few of those stumps out here I'll have to work around. If they'll come up, they come up. That's the only downfall about this old machine and bucket is I can't use the thumb and the bucket at the same time. Unlike the, uh, the new machine, I had it set up where I could run uh, run three hydraulics at once. So far, so good. walk out here because this is probably snake heaven right here. See, I got some big old stumps like that that might have to stay. because that is obviously somebody else's property there. And, uh, evidently they didn't want any part of this or to contribute. So here's the, uh, the creek. I get that dam plug, you can kind of see how much water's flowing through there. So, 
it's got good flow. I feel like uh, if it's flowing that good, it hasn't rained. When it does rain, it's, it's going to fill back up pretty quickly, I think. As long as the old beaver dam holds. So what I'm going to do is start scratching all this stuff off and piling it up over here. And then I'll come back and make another cut. kind of start wasting all this stuff along that bank right there. Uh, 
da, 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 da. what might I do? This is where you got to be careful. I have a problem right quick. Make one more cut, then I think I'm going to head down that way as far as I feel comfortable and start working my way back since I know that this is, this is somewhat solid. It has a base to it. this way. Let's see how far I can make it before I get too scared.
just because I know that it's not going to be that deep here. So everything is going pretty good. Luckily the ground is uh, holding me up being able to uh, drive over this stuff. It's kind of, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's wet. You could have a bad day out here pretty quickly, but uh, kind of working over these stumps and original ground. Taking, uh, made that first pass all the way down there, laid it over. Now I'm coming back, making the second pass, laying it over to the bank. Then I'll go back up there and cut that out and go ahead and start grading that bank. I'm gonna take all that and lay it up against that tree line and kind of build a road along the bank right there with it. And uh, it should work out fine and dandy. It's fun to be back in the pond. It's been quite a while since I've done a project like this and it's, uh, it's a lot more challenging and I find a lot more enjoyment out of it. All right, so working on the second pass here and I've kind of gotten a sketchy spot there's a uh, another ditch that comes out of the woods right here and it comes down right through here and it's it's pretty wet deep right there so what I've got to do is stay on this side of it and get my windrow of stuff that I piled up cast it over get it get this mud out of the way over there that way I can walk out here and get to the edge of that. So it's kind of like a, a two-step process because the mud's so deep I can't uh, I can't drive back on top of it once I pile the mud up, if that makes sense. What I'm saying is I've got one shot to get this right or I'm not going to be able to get back out there. I can't go, I, I ain't saying I can't go that way, but that is not the option I would like to go. Uh, normally traveling towards standing water is not a great idea.
you on your toes right here. I'm about sunk to the top of the track. Working in this stuff.
pond dam in here. But I think this stuff would hold uh, hold water back. It's a gooey, gooey mess. section get some more of that cleared and maybe I can set the camera up out there and you can watch me kind of the uh, head section up here now came up here and got that cut out kind of taking this stuff and laying it up here on the bank trying to build kind of a more defined shoreline those as you know with most beaver ponds they're not really uh, planned they just kind of happen so nothing's you know dug out Therefore, the water just kind of, you know, slowly goes to wherever it goes uphill. So by digging this out, kind of building the shoreline, I can kind of create a little bit more of a defined edge for where the pond will end at. Plus, it gives me a spot to get rid of all this mess I'm digging out at.
patting it down and building the bank right here. Since I've been back from lunch, I've gone in here and laid all that material back, transferred it again, came all the way up here to this second feeder creek, and I've laid all that up there and kind of created a shoreline instead of just the water just swamping into those trees right there. It should have a nice edge to go up against. And then I've cut that ditch where that'll flow through there. I don't know how far the water is going to go up in there, so it'll wash down probably the first big rain and not pull up anymore. Oh, I'm going to keep working my way down here and knocking down a few of these little trees and just putting all this mud in here and then just leaving a ditch every so often like that right there so that any of that runoff from in there can just drain into the pond. And pretty much I'm building a shoreline and getting rid of the mud, making the pond just a little bit smaller but deeper. So I made my way back out here. mud is and I am uh, making a cut back transfer this back giving it down to the level where all that water is
that pile back. That was the pile on the other side of the ditch that I was concerned about being able to uh, get to because it was so wet. But luckily this ground right here seems to be a little bit better. So rounding out today, I drove too far back before I took a video, but I got the whole entire head section dug out and laid over there. And tomorrow I will work on this section right here. Get all this laid up onto this bank right here and kind of build a little bit of a little ridge to kind of get rid of it. Cause as you can tell, I got a lot of mud to dig out. A little bit more than I was planning on, but I'll make it fit in here. All right, time to fuel up and come back tomorrow. And this is the reason I brought the old machine. <laughs> Got a little deep out there in a couple spots. Oh well, it'll wash off. A lot to do tomorrow.